Hi again, uh, let's continue our discussion about media queries um, and how are you going to test them, okay? So here's a few things to look at, okay? So I'm going to take the same example that we had before and you may have noticed that I was testing in Chrome at the time, right? Let's test that same one in Safari, okay? So I'll, I'll drag this over on top of Safari here and there's my, my desktop version and as I drag over to here, it doesn't change, right? So the problem here is that in Safari, I'm, um, I'm unable to drag the window small enough to activate the media query. So, you know, if, I, if you see when I inspect this, um, it might be hard to read on the video, but if I find the body tag here and I select it, if you look really carefully, it's probably impossible to see there. Maybe I can do this. Um, right, let me drag this up here and get the the um, the thing here, right? So what you'll see is you'll see that the body tag, when I measure it here, um, let me see if I can get it. Oh, yeah. You can see here it says it's 488 pixels. So I can't drag the window small enough to activate the media query so it doesn't show up, okay? Um, that doesn't mean you can't test in Safari, and I'm going to show you another way to test in Safari in a moment. Um, let's let's skip back to Chrome for a, a second, right? So in Chrome, um, you can drag the window small enough, you know, usually to, to activate the media query. I don't know what the width is here. Um, let's inspect really quick. Oh, it looks like I can get all the way down to 375. Um, Notice what I've done here is I've undocked the the um, the inspector, so I just put it in its own window, and that actually works well when you're testing this way, or for me it does. Um, you can click on this little three buttons here, and you can choose the dock location. So that's at the bottom, that's on the on the right, or you can put it in a separate window. Um, you'll see the view here looks a little bit different now, okay? And the, um, Chrome has this little button here. And this button lets you test as a mobile device. And when you when you click on this, it kind of resizes the window to the size of a mobile device, right? And um, in this mode here, I have it set to responsive, and that means I can grab the corners here and resize it, okay? If I click on the menu here, you can choose from the menu one of the standard devices. So you can choose the Galaxy S5. I can choose um, Nexus 6P. I can choose the iPhone 6. I can choose iPhone 5. I can choose, you know, iPhone 6 Plus, right? And I can see, oh, wow, you know, so that's the correct layout for those for those phones, right? So Chrome has kind of a nice, um, a nice little tool there for, for testing, okay? Um, that actually doesn't mean that Safari is is not that great because Safari has an inter a very interesting way that you can you can test. Um, it takes a little bit more effort though. Um, so I'm going to hide that, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to launch Xcode, and I'm going to go to the um, the Xcode menu, and go to the developer open developer tools, and then go to simulator, and you can see I've got the simulator open here. And I've got my web page in the simulator, right? So actually, I could load my site onto my, my real phone and test there also. And then I can also test on the phone um, here. You can actually just drag your HTML file into, um, into the window here for the simulator, and it will load in mobile Safari. It doesn't have a home button, but if you press, you can actually go to the hardware menu up here uh, and choose home or do shift command h right and that will be the home button right we can launch safari so um so what's interesting about this right so that's kind of cool right but uh, one of the coolest features of this is that if you're in safari and you um and you have the simulator open here right i'm going to switch to um let me, let me undock that here like we did with Chrome. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Develop menu. And um, under Simulator right here, you can see the simulator actually shows up in the Develop menu when you have it running. 
and you can go to the simulator here and you can find your web page and you'll notice it selects it. You can see it's highlighted there. And when I choose that, what I'm editing here, let me close those two windows for now, right? What I'm editing in this and the in the, the inspector now is what's what we see in the simulator. Okay, so that's actually kind of very cool because the simulator, I think, is pretty close to what you're going to get on a real phone. And you can see here I can inspect all the things on the simulator and that can actually tell you or solve a lot of problems that you might have when you're when you're trying to test your device or test your website on mobile. Okay, so there's some some tips on testing. Um, you should try that out for yourself. Um, set this up and uh, load a web page, load your web page into the simulator and then inspect it this way. Okay, so um, good luck with that and thanks for watching.